<laughs> it's too bright. Those backlights are blinding. This is gonna be like a four-star kill and cook free for all. How do you fire through such a small gap? I never forget an enemy's position once they've fired. Acquired that trick in the army. Think of it as battlefield synesthesia. I can echolocate the source of hostile gunfire with pinpoint accuracy and check my own gun by taste. Now then, <laughs> I know there's one more stolen firearm out there. Stand by, Hayami. <laughs> Hold your position. Wise decision not to fire, Chiba. Well played. Our opponent doesn't have a lock on you yet. Hang tight and wait for my signal. I'll keep an eye on him and tell you when it's time to shoot. <laughs> Where is that coming from? <laughs> hey! You in the front row! Don't stare at me! <laughs> A seasoned marksman versus adolescent assassins. Our modest advantage will, I think, be quite enough. Okay, Kimura, run five seats to your left. Tarasuka and Yoshida, dash three seats to either side. <laughs> We've made a blind spot. Kayano, two rows forward and to the gap. Go! Carman, Fuwa, move eight seats right. Isagai, five seats left. Idiot. He's shuffling them all up. Big mistake. Now I know their positions and their names. <laughs> Verbatim memory, pal. Alternate naming schemes! Student 12! Move right and continue prepping! Students 4 and 5, train your camera on the target from between the seats! Use Ritsu to keep Chiba apprised of his movements on stage! Ponytail, shift your position to the front left! Motorcycle fan, you as well, two seats down! The student who checked out Takibayashi's favorite maid cafe only to discover he kinda liked it, discombobulate the target by kicking up a racket! You ran past through this nobody's business but mine! How'd you even know? Uh, who's who? Where are they? I can't... All right, Chiba, the moment of truth is upon us. Get your bearings, my boy. When I give the command, fire at will. Crap. Where is he? I am here on follow-up as needed. Focus on blocking the enemy's evasive maneuvers. Now, a word of advice to our cool-headed sharpshooters who flubbed the assassination attempt earlier today. <sighs> Don't let one failure overshadow the skills you've worked so hard to cultivate. The best of us fall short of our abilities from time to time. You maintain a facade of stoic nonchalance, but feel burdened by the confidence your classmates place in you all the same. Few guess at your inner anguish, but it's there, just beneath the surface. You're alarmingly calm for someone with these grades, young lady. Or should I have known better than to expect you to care? He won't explain himself. It's like he can't be bothered. I don't know my own son anymore. You're not alone in this. You give it a brave face, but you needn't bear the pressure on your own. If you miss the shot, there's a fallback strategy. We'll play hot potato with the gun and continue shuffling everyone until our foe has no idea where the next shot will come from. The reason that strategy will work is because everyone here has tasted the agony of defeat. Yes, there's pressure, but your classmates are in the same boat. Learn to take solace in that. Thanks for the pep talk. Gave me time to get my bearings and work out a counter strategy. Everybody's moved except students 12, and I have a pretty good idea where they are. They're all breathing heavy, though, like they're nervous cooking something up. Meh, doesn't matter. The second someone pops their little head up, they die. Okie dokie, here we go. Oh yes, the flavor. I am one with my gun. Student 12, stand and fire now! Decoy? That's where you want to aim. You got it. <laughs> nice shooting there, son. Too bad. Now I know where to ah! they, they aim for the brackets on the stage lights. That's not fair. <laughs> Finally. Bag him and bag him. I'll just make a scarecrow in total silence. No big. That was a white knuckle ride. I'm impressed they held it together. I've known pros who would have tanked. With the balance of opportunity and motivation, anyone can expand their horizon. They just have to move out of their comfort zone. But we can't often do so on our own. We need a foe to challenge our complacency, force us to draw upon resources we never knew we had. That, you see, is precisely why I became a teacher. 
to spark potential, to give my students both the opportunity to succeed and the motivation. Some education. Look at them. These kids have just come through a shootout. <laughs> and here they are, all smiles.